Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Regina On. There's still no word on when Governor Scott Walker will sign bills passed by the state legislature to limit the power of Governor-elect Tony Evers. Evers says he is concerned the will of the voters is not being heard. Evers plans to ask Governor Walker not to sign the bills when they arrive on his desk. Governor Walker has signaled he will sign the legislation, but with the changes made, it's still unclear. Republicans say they're making the changes to even out the power between between the executive and legislative branches. Legal marijuana has officially arrived in the Midwest under a new measure taking effect today in Michigan. People 21 and older can now legally possess and use recreational pot. Voters there approved the initiative in November with 56% of the vote. Retail stores aren't likely to open until 2020. Michigan is a 10th state now in the U.S. to legalize marijuana for recreational use. University of Wisconsin Green Bay students are offering their takes on the history of the Packers. Groups in one class got to research what they found most interesting about Packers history. They showed off what they found. The students say they were able to learn a lot about how the team and the city have evolved. Students say the Packers history is particularly unique to have a franchise of this caliber in a city the size of Green Bay. Well, time for a check on weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron, how is it looking tonight? Regina, colder weather has moved back into northeast Wisconsin after several days with highs in the lower 30s. Today, we're looking at mid-20s. Even colder weather lurks just off to the north and west, where highs this afternoon have only been in the single digits and teens. And that colder weather will be here tomorrow. We're not talking about highs in the single digits, but most spots will be running about 8 to 10 degrees colder tomorrow compared to what we're seeing today. And that means mid to upper teens. Wind chills will be in the single digits above and below zero throughout the day. We're going to see a mixture of clouds and sunshine and perhaps a couple of flurries. For your latest news, sports and weather, make sure you download the NBC 26 News app. It's free. It's available in the App Store and on Google Play. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day.